Back to my thoughts. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was... Um, look, we, we set ourselves for the week. We challenged ourselves this week that this was a, a big... A big round, big round for us. You know, we talk about challenging the best and doing that consistently. So, you know, where free I've been at the last couple of years, this was a this is a really big game for us. And so our guys put it on each other, and I thought we I thought we got that challenge done. Big um, game because it followed another big game. Or yeah, because you want momentum or big game. You're testing yourself against free. all of the above, Roach. It was you know you come off a showdown. Everyone's going into gather round next weekend. It's going to be a huge round. So there was, there's this, you know, feeling of you want to get this one right. This is all about momentum. This is about you know consistently performing. That word that we haven't been able to back up to this point, but tonight or today, um, you know, when you get to half time, you're able to come in and talk about what we're doing really well. Um, that was so pleasing for our group to do that. The second half was. Yeah, you know, we got a couple of things wrong. We were a little bit scrappy. The game went a, a bit that way, but our mindset was there to to get the job done, and they did that. So, you know, really pleased as a coach, really proud of what they did today. Just at half time too, I think you had 13 scoring shots from whatever it was, 20, the first 24 inside 50s. A must be pleasing, but B, what do you put that scoring efficiency down, or the ability to create chances from, from yeah. injuries now? Well, it's a connection. I mean, the, the guys have worked on it and worked on it, you know, for a period of time. We've, you know, we know we've got a, a talented forward line, but, it, it, you know, talent doesn't win your games of footy. It, it's all about then being connected and putting the ball in the right place. Um, I thought we did that really well in the first half. I thought the first half we were very connected. There's some cohesion there. I thought we played front of centre. You know, at times we were able to pin it in our front half. In the end, um, you know, the first half was enough to sort of see the game out. We didn't quite have that in the second half. So it shows it, it, it can change quickly. But, you know, we got some fantastic players ahead of the ball, like, you know, led by Tex and Isaac now down there. We've got a number of guys who rotate through the midfield. So we're going to give them as much opportunity as we can um, and, and, you know, perform well in other areas. We get the job done. You must be pretty pleased with the attack count inside 50s as well. Yeah. Well, that's part of it, because if you go back three weeks, we, you know, I'm not sure we had one against the Giants in, you know, in an early round. So that, that was a structural issue. That was something we, we had wrong and we got that right. So you know, these guys, are, they're very diligent. They're working on becoming a, a lot more consistent side. And um, that tackle count's been up now for a, for a number of weeks. So we're getting that bit right. Um, a lot of other small areas we're getting right as well. And that's adding to us, um, you know, getting the results we're after. Well, the performances of guys like Chase and McHenry coming in, indicative of that depth and um, score we were talking about the other day. Yeah, they are. I mean, Ned came in and gave exactly what we know Ned's going to give, just 100% effort and thought he was ferocious early. Um, you know, Chase was rock solid for us again. Shoal again played, uh, you know, he's now put three, two or three, you know, really strong games together. Um, that's the squad mentality that we're talking about at this point. You know, that strong squad is what is what keeps people at the level. That pressure from underneath. That you know, I want to perform for for my squad here, not just for the 22 players I'm playing alongside. Um, so really pleased with that. I mean, you know, Max Maxi McElhaney behind the ball. If if he don't get a Rising Star nomination at some point, I've, yeah, he's he, the stuff he's doing off ball and the jobs he's getting. Um, he was un unbelievable today. So. I was going to ask you about him. So, Bolton, reality, Walters, you're not exactly giving him the, the easy jobs, and he's winning them all and barely losing a one on one. Yeah, he asked for him. He's, um, he's rare. You know, for a, for a young player, I, I talk about the, the word balance with him, but he's he's ruthless. He just doesn't like losing, uh, and he's he's got incredible method. You know, for such a young player, um, you know, the lack of experience he's got at this level. But he showed it before. You know, we were able to bring him into the footy club. He showed it at at, at Norwood that he was rock solid in defence. But he he seems to be adding more than just the defence at the moment. He's so composed with the ball. Credit to him. He's he's playing some really good footy. Two weeks in a row now, you've just got opposition behind the pinpoint areas in attack. Where's that built from? Is it more the team defence or the blokes in the defence knowing where they need to put themselves now? 
yeah, again, it's 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 a combination of um, it's our transition that's that's stopping some of that intercept score against. I think that's what you're, you're talking about. We. You know, we sat right down towards the bottom of the table after the first couple of rounds. That intercept score against was too high. Um, so we've now worked on that for a couple of weeks. Shape, you know, um, the way we're moving the ball in offence. So there's just a balance with all of that. You know, how aggressive are you going to be? What risks are you going to take that can expose you? You know, today we were... Um, we were probably lucky on occasion today. We had a couple of turnovers that they're almost undefendable, but we worked so hard to get back and try and make up for it. I thought our mindset today was spot on. You know, we, were, we went there with, with a mindset of, of limiting our oppo score. It was really our priority. Um, we still kicked 111 points in the end, so you know, that's, that's even more pleasing that we're able to still get the offence going as well. What did your old teams to such a slow ball movement? The three man's movement today was... Incredibly well, some of that comes back to the shape that we've got on the ground and where we're giving it back to them as well. You know, we'd like to, I'd like to think our guys have done a lot of work on that side of the game. Um, you know, at times maybe, maybe a little bit too much focus on our defence and we've been, some people have been critical of us, but ultimately the, if you stop the opposition scoring, that's, that's going to get your wins. We're seeing it right now from the teams up the top of the ladder. They don't allow scores against. The Saints are are very good in that and Ross is one of the best coaches there is as far as limiting scores so um, yeah, we'll continue to try and be ruthless when it comes to scores against um, as I said though the pleasing part is we're able to put that scoreboard pressure on especially through the first half I know we didn't score as much in the second you know, have an interesting selection week obviously coming in a short break a few players available very big Thursday night game on either side mm. um, I guess how are you going to balance that up with you know, bringing those two Uh, yeah, well, we'll see how things play out. Obviously, McAdam and Pedler are um, they're available um, and fit. We look at Fogarty. And we'll, we'll make a decision there just on how he keeps progressing. Um, so, in a way, we're in a, a bit of a bonus position with such a short break. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll also you know, keep in mind that you know, there's a few things we, we did with Barry, more so from a management point of view. Um, it's nice to be able to talk about this, I guess, the gather round or the Thursday night game now. It, it was something we sort of shied away from, but we had planned coming into it. So, And, and what a challenge. You know, there's no bigger challenge in the game at the moment than Carlton, and, and they're up and going. And We'll have some, uh, we'll have some work, on, work to do behind the ball because they've got a couple of twin towers down there that are pretty hard to stop. But. Does it mean, sorry, does it mean anything to you too to kick off what is it, unusual, you know, an all gather round Thursday night prime time yeah. TV? Does it, does that give, add anything extra um, looking ahead? Or? Yeah, well, it does. I mean, even today, we have 30-odd 30, 30 thousand here today. It was an amazing effort from our fans. Easter weekend, you know, the support was huge for us today. And so our state deserves... We love our footy. And so the state deserves this opportunity, and I think they've embraced it, as has other states. I think there's a lot of people coming in. Um, so it'll be, a, it'll be a fantastic weekend or, or week which we kick off Thursday night, you know, in a game now that, you know, we feel we deserve to go in and have a, a crack at some of the best. And we look forward to that challenge. It's going to be a massive challenge, but um, we'll go in and, and, you know, give it our best and have a real crack at them. It feels like the kind of test that you, you'd be relishing, though, given how confident you've been playing and looking at the moment. Uh, yeah, from a timing point of view, we, we feel like our guys have, you know, I mentioned the word cohesion. They, they're playing... They're playing some really connected footy. Um, they're confident in what they're doing. Um, but, yeah, we've got to stick to that. And it'll be challenged Thursday night. Yeah, we'll go up against the best and you know, they're undefeated. So I know our guys will be, be, be looking forward to it. Do you suspect that there won't be as much conjecture this week about who was best on ground today? Uh, no, I'm sure we'll all still have who we thought was best. You could put, put Maxie in there somewhere.